red or burgundy is the project coordinate system. When I move the project coordinate system clipped, what really happens, even though it looks like I do this, notice the survey point is offset now. So when I move this over to here, 100 feet, say, for example, what's really happening underneath is this is shifting. This system never really moves. So this system is inert, stays there. So when you move things, you're actually moving it relative to the underlying survey system. Now, when I unclip the project base point, the project coordinate system stays in the same place, but now I can put the marker here and it's referencing the values that you see here are still referencing the underlying shared coordinate system, which is what's confusing to most people. Now, if I clip it again and move it, I'm moving it again relative to the other system underneath. Now, if I put it back here at the original startup point after it's been unclipped, and I move the shared coordinate system, what Revit does when you acquire coordinates is it moves the origin to mark the origin of the WCS of the AutoCAD file. And then this project sits above that and can be moved around while it's clipped relative to the survey shared coordinate system. If it's clipped, then it marks the original zero spot in this case, and it moves again relative to the other system above it. But they're separate. They're completely separate entities. The only thing that makes them look like they're even remotely related to another or connected to each other is the fact that this guy reports its position relative to the origin of this, this system. And that's because they intended it to make it easy for us to move this around on top of a survey. If I bring a survey into the model, I can then use relo relocate project to push this to a different spot, but relative to the shared coordinate system.